we are now in Bratislava. We have literally just like walked out of the station into the middle of Bratislava. I don't know where quite. And we're just going to walk until we find the hostel. Found our hostel. Apparently it's next to a strip club to the hostel and it's actually so like nice and new and clean so I'm gonna show you this room before we absolutely like cover it in clothes and stuff so it's got all these beds well like four because there's four of us but it's like a massive space and it's all clean and new and there are tons of plug sockets and it's just fresh looking a little bit of shopping trip me and Amelia but they didn't give us a bag and they just seem to talk to us in Slovak and they don't seem to be speaking very much English here so yeah we don't really know what we're doing. So Amelia and I are now just cooking our spaghetti, the leftovers of what we had other the other day, eating peanuts and I'm just waiting to put our toppings on. <laughs> Finish making dinner but the others are falling asleep. Sunday morning and we're in Bratislava in our nice hostel room which turns out has very thin walls and is practically over a tram line but um, it's, it's a nice hostel and um, yeah we're just going to go and have some breakfast. We've got our bag of cookie crisp and some orange juice because we were all craving orange juice. Oh sorry. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. Wandering around Bratislava, and we are going to have a look for the old town area. Um, yeah. by Bratislava Castle now and we've just done like a sun cream round because it's actually really sunny for the first day um, like the sunniest it's been so far I think it's supposed to be like 24 25 degrees today and um, so yeah we're just making sure we're protected trying to find somewhere for lunch now that was an advert saying that there was like this panoramic view restaurant next to the Parliament buildings which I think I'll have just put in a clip of there um, but unfortunately it was closed but it's just so lovely like the weather is just the perfect weather because it's nice and sunny but it's a bit breezy like it's not too hot but it's nice and warm and like yeah it's just pretty we're in a really cute cafe kind of it's not a cafe it looks like a like a cafe but it's actually a restaurant with all like floral chairs and things and it's right in the middle of the street and the square and it's just it's lovely I don't know how where we have been in Europe, the ice cream just looks so much better. Like, look at that in the tubs, it looks so much better than in England. We're sitting here in front of the fountain, and I think sitting in the sun with an ice cream is practically the definition of happiness, to be honest. So, we've eaten our ice cream, and now we're going to have a wander through the market. And then I think we're going to have to go get some water because I think we're probably all pretty dehydrated. Yeah! We've just been chilling out in the hostel room for a bit. Now we're going to make dinner. We bought stuff to make a stir fry, so we're hoping there are actually like adequate pans and oil and stuff to make a stir fry, but hopefully it'll be nice and just something a bit different to what we've had other days. And then our room's so nice and comfy and everything that we're just going to chill out here a bit this evening. Um, we've like we've got a few different drinks and things left over, so we're just going to use them up before we move on to Budapest and just have a chat and a bit more of a chilled night in. Whilst we're in such a lovely room, we may as well make the most of it.
so I haven't really filmed that much this evening. Just basically a few clips of Kayla making a fool of herself. So we'll see whether they've made the vlog or not. But it was actually really nice. We met another girl who had just come from London and she was on her own. Um, and she is hoping to go to uni where we all live. So we were just like, we had like a lot to chat about and I actually had a lot in common with her like in terms of like family and whatever so and you know like a levels and whatever so that was that was nice and we just like chatted for ages now i've just come back to the room and it's hilarious there's a tram right underneath our window and people keep screaming like it's a roller coaster very weird experience but yeah i think i'm gonna go to bed now and explore a bit more of Bl bratislava tomorrow and then we are off to budapest it's tuesday morning and today we are off to budapest from bratislava and it's about 10.35, so we're again pushing the boundaries of what counts as getting charged for a late checkout. But we are about to get going. This is possibly the most insane looking breakfast we've had. We've got these green smoothie bowls. Caitlin has the English breakfast. Of course. <laughs> and Frankie has these amazing looking pancakes. And then we've got some freshly squeezed orange juice. visit the blue church of saint elizabeth which is sort of like not i mean it's not far out at all but it's like not right in the center and it's such a pretty church we can't go inside because it's closed but it's just like it's so different to what what we'd see at home i guess how can you not it's <laughs> coming to visit the palace um we've all got our hands packed with food um, that we're carrying for a picnic and there's supposed to be a nice park behind here. We've had our picnic in the park which is really lovely and we just laid in the sun and chatted and everything and now we're going back to the hostel to pick up our backpacks and then head off to the train station to go to Budapest. We went back to the hostel to get our bags and we we're just sitting around a bit so we had a bit of time for the train and I realised that I had not bought a postcard and I have been collecting postcards about every single place I'm going to be making a scrapbook and they're going to start every like section of it so we had to run back into oh. the old town to find a postcard so now we're power walking back up and it's so hot So we've got here and it turns out our train has been delayed by 25 minutes and we already arrived with sort of plenty of extra time because we wanted to have plenty of time so now we're just sitting around hoping that the platform is going to be announced in like a little corner by a pastry shop. So packed, it does not look like we're getting a seat on this train. watching everybody we did actually get a seat after that last clip um i luckily managed to find us a table of four just as some people left um so if you want to watch more of our interrail antics we are going to budapest next so if you enjoyed this please like comment and subscribe and we will see you soon thank you for watching bye